Live from Justin's basement, it's Talkie Box. Do not resuscitate. Seems incredibly appropriate today, actually. Uh, one of the things you might notice about today's show is that we are not at Shadowmere Studios, which is why I said Justin's basement, because that's where we are. The Justin basement that, Studios. Justin, Justin, Justin basement, basement Studios. <laughs> studios yeah. With uh, a candle. With this candle. It looks real weird. Um, it's a candle. I, I'll, I'll own that. <laughs> But the reason we're here is because Justin went and got himself injured. Yeah, sure that's why he's got that bandage on his face. Yep. I thought and it is. That's not Hollywood. That's real. That's real. Yeah, this is yeah, not. Real. Well, we have the props here, though. Are you sure it's not? I mean, there's definitely a Hollywood vibe going on in this basement. Right. There is a little <laughs> bit of Hollywood vibe. Well, and it's uh, so casual. We're all sitting on a couch. Yeah. It's actually really comfy. It is very comfy. Yeah. yeah. I don't hate it. So, uh, Dave, the host who I am. And then uh, we have Jason with me on, on my right. Oh. To my left we got Tech and Is Edwin and Harry. I gotta flex it out. Yeah, you gotta flex it out. Uh, Justin over there. And Justin, you wanna tell us what, what, uh, what, what happened to you? What are you doing? Hmm? <laughs> what? Oh, there's a creaking couch over here. He's scratching his ass on the hey, couch. He's, he's, he's getting bent. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find the spot. trying to find the spot. See? He has his thing on the left. Uh, that's Things true. Things are going to yeah. happen. Yeah, get in that spot. All right, so Justin, tell us what, what happened to your face, to your head. Well, uh, I was uh, holding some stuff. Mm-hmm. What stuff? I was don't, walking don't, over don't stuff. Don't be vague. I'm, I'm being vague. Don't be vague. It's okay, we're here for yeah, you. Look. We're here for you. It's okay. Don't be vague. Just, Give us it's, the details. It's totally fine. <laughs> also the details. Tell us the details of the scenario. Details. I want to hear details. Yeah, write it out like a novelist. Like a novelist. What were you holding? Uh, oh, I, I was holding two five-gallon jugs of deep fryer oil. Change it. Don't change it. Just tell All the right. story. <laughs> <and> tell <laughs> <it>. <laughs> like, you want to hear the story or not? And uh, I was walking out a door, and while carrying these jugs, there was a box there. I stepped over the box, and underneath that box was another box that was flattened out. I stepped on that box. I slipped. The jugs carried me forward, and I nearly ripped my ear off on an emergency exit handle. <laughs> well, that emergency exit is there. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I was larking <coughs> this weekend, uh-huh. and I got uh, service on my cell phone and, and looked at Facebook, and all I saw was a picture of your feet in an ambulance. Yep, looking at my feet. Uh, saying something like, it's not as bad as it seems, or like something. Yeah. I don't know. <coughs> yeah, I, I, like, I got a, a huge... Like, outpouring of, oh my god, are you okay? Right. Which was very much appreciated. But I felt as though, like, that was not my intention. I felt as though by being able to take a picture from the back of an yeah, ambulance right. and post to Facebook, it was enough of an implication that things are okay. That's yeah. how I took it. Like, like, he didn't just have a heart attack. Like, <laughs> he didn't just, like, wake up from a stroke and be like, wait. <laughs> Selfie. I gotta get. No. I gotta get one on the way. Now don't be wrong. It sucks. It yeah. sucks really bad. Uh, but it wasn't so bad that I'm like, you know, like, oh man, this sucks. You just let people know yeah. how much this sucks right now. Now when you said you almost lost your ear, you like, you you punctured your ear canal or something? I, I the cut went from right behind my ear, so I have stitches all along the back of my ear here. Yeah. Uh, the cut went so deep behind my ear that it actually cut inside my ear canal as well. Wow. Ooh. So now I have uh, I have stitches on the outside, cotton balls on the inside, and the whole thing just wrapped up to right. me from getting a big old puffy ear. And how, how well can you hear out of that ear? Uh, I, can, I can hear out of it right now. Yeah. Um, it's obviously a little muffled because of the cotton balls and the gauze and everything, but... Uh, I do get a little bit of a whiny moan out of it right now, so I'm hoping that'll go away once the ear canal heals up. A little tinnitus in the... Yeah, a little tinnitus. A little hum of the drum, as yep, they yep, say. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I imagine it was severely jarring. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, it you know... Like, I, was it an actual precise cut, or was it just like... It was like... Sheer the, traumatic, like it just ripping just at It was just traumatic. It was just like a sheer just ripping. So oh, basically yeah. the softest point between you, like someone... Grabbing your ear and yanking that shit real good. Yeah, the, the cut went through the skin and the tissue to the bone. Cut went to the bone. If it were like another like quarter of an inch forward, it probably would have taken my ear off. Oh, wow. Uh, 
So, I mean, it, it, I don't know. I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Like, it sucks, but it could have been so much worse. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. I could have lost my hearing, lost my ear. I could have... You could have died. Yeah. Any number of things could have happened. Instead, that's I just happened. whacked myself in the ear, nearly ripped it off, and yeah. bled all over the place. That sounds like one of those, like, wake-up call incidences. Like, everybody kind of gets a couple of, like, times where... You know, when you're you're running full on in a field or something with wild abandon, and, and you, just, <laughs> you trip and you fall and you catch yourself and you're like this close to the sharp rock and right, like, like everybody okay. gets those kind of moments. Yeah. You, on the other hand, the sharp rock actually tried to take your ear. It almost it was an ear rock. It was an emergency. I mean, you know, <laughs> metaphorically. Yeah. <laughs> now you need to tell us what actually happened. Now give us that's the true. real story. That, that that's what happened. You were we mobile. all know you that you were mobile by a pair. <laughs> we all know that you were trying to be uh, what's his name, bro? That he finally got his Oscar just by getting bald by the bear. Oh, Leo DiCaprio. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh the rep. I, I wanted to put myself. Rep, 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 rep. <laughs> I wanted to get myself in that running. Yeah. Getting mauled by a bear. That's how you do it, man. That's how you get those Oscars. That's exactly how you yeah. do it. Yeah, that's how the way to get it. Should be, we should be getting, you should be getting a call from the, the Academy any day now. Yeah, that's why, uh, that's that's why, why Tom Hanks for. got all of his Oscars. Bear ball. Yeah, that's how it happens. Also, so, also, you'll appreciate this. Fun. Something really cool happened to me last night. Um, Ooh, tell me more. So, you slapped me in the face? Yeah, I did slap you in the face last night, and I apologize for that, but it was it was part of the song and the dance I was doing, so... <laughs> it was not a part of the song. It was! <laughs> All right, so tell me, more, <laughs> I did. tell me more. I gotta know more about this. So, uh, Monday night's my bowling night. Mm-hmm. Tech and I go bowling uh, with several of our friends. Um, I love people. After, after bowling, there's usually food involved. We, you know, a lot of us go somewhere to get some food. Uh, last night was just myself and, and our friend Jackie, and we went to uh, this place in Duluth called I Love Fuzz. It's a Vietnamese place. It's really good. I, I highly recommend it. Not a sponsor, but hey, whatever. Um, but yummy nonetheless. It is very yummy. Uh, they give you it's rice yummy. in the shape of a heart. It's so yummy. Yum. So as we were walking out the door uh, to, to go back to the car to, to go home, um, this guy comes running up from inside. He goes, hey, hey, hold on, hold on. I was like, yeah, what's up? And he's like, do you host a podcast? I was like, yeah. He goes, with Justin Ritchie, right? I was like, yeah. He goes, what's the name of it? I can never remember the name of it. That's what I'm talking about. He's like, yes, you guys are so awesome. I was like, thanks, man. And then he just walked back inside. I was like, I just got recognized for this show, like, out and about. Are you wearing the shirt? No. No? He was wearing a shirt of his day job, though. So it was (laughs) somebody that you know or knew at some point. Where was it? In Duluth. Uh Uh-huh. What did he look like? Uh, Black dude, longer hair. Long up in a, up in a, yeah. Super long dreads, goatee, skinny dude. Kind of, I guess. I don't know. He he had it up in a like a bun kind of thing, but yeah. Tall yeah. guy. Kind of. Skinny guy. Sure. I didn't. I didn't want to go up and down the guy. <laughs> I think it's just. I was. I was. I was I'm, this I'm picturing like a very handsome, yeah. like ebony yeah. gentleman. Like, <laughs> like, sort of James, like an Idris Elba kind of <laughs> James Bond dreads. Yeah. Kind of guy, uh, and thank you so much for absolutely. watching. Uh, I'm sorry know. I didn't get your name, dude. Yeah, well, thanks absolutely. for watching. And, and I'm sorry, this is the one person. you had to meet. Yeah, I'm He's terrible. With that. <laughs> I would be a terrible eyewitness for Andrew. What well, they look like? Some guy, man. Uh, he, uh, Dark skin, hair, he had you know, eyes, and shirt. You know, <laughs> he was wearing pants. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like he was wearing he pants. <laughs> you remind me of um, in uh, Saturday Night Live, Miss Swan. Oh, you look like a man. He, he like that a was Mad TV. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah. my bad. Yeah, it sure was. Oh yeah, don't cross your skits. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, but no, I thought that was really cool. And actually, Jackie, the girl that I was with, was was actually more excited than I was. Like, you just got recognized out of the world. This is amazing. <laughs> she watch? Yeah, she does. She's like, you're famous. Oh my god. Yeah. But uh, that's so that was really cool. Yeah. That, that's that's, awesome. that's our first step on the way to. Fame and stardom. Well, yeah. for you, no one else got to experience that. Right. Like, no. We're yeah. just going to have to osmos that shit here on the show. No, you, you can't have it. Look, yeah. you, can take, you can take the story and just turn it around. And you'll be fine. You can claim it's yours. I don't care. <laughs> if I'm around, I will totally die. To, like, <laughs> that was you. <laughs> Talking out of your ass. That was my story. I told that a year ago. Uh, this is so funny, though. Talking out of your ass, man. What are you doing? That was totally me. Jason, you know, as dumb as it gets. <laughs> so, do you guys know the song uh, 
and sing Bye Bye Bye. I've heard yeah. it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is there a part of the song that says, slap me in the face? <laughs> it's not, but I don't remember the exact lyrics. But <laughs> this uh, is legit what happened, right? Dave and I were <laughs> it's, it's playing it every day. in the face. <laughs> we're literally <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. actually, I'm pretty sure that is. Like, we're literally doing exactly. the whole second moves. Verse. We're just like verse, knocking yeah, on the door. Know. We're doing the bye 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 thing. Next thing I know, I'm looking at uh, you know Dave, and I know he just goes like, "What just happened here?" Actually, I'm pretty sure the line is, "It hit me with the truth," and so I. <laughs> what do you so mean? you hit him with an open hand. Jackie, we need to Google that. <laughs> he legit, like, it slapped, made the nice noise, and everything <laughs> stunned me. I was like, what am I supposed to do to this? Yeah, we're right <laughs> he on was the... just getting into the moment. He was I getting was. some Britney Spears choreography out there. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. I was like, yeah. dang. You're missing in two songs, man. Songs Whatever, man. Whatever, man. The point is, I had a good time. You guys slapped in the face. I'm sorry I did it. No, you're not. I'm not entirely sorry I did it. I'm not. But it was, did it really add to the show? Absolutely. Yeah. He, so you, you guys were dancing were a pro. bowling night. This is, <laughs> I, was, you guys were pro. I was just standing there. And then I had, yeah, the, bowling, yeah, the song was on, was on the, the radio or whatever they have. And whatever. The tech was being comes from the heavens in the bowling. That's where the speakers are. <laughs> I guess I'm just a prop in your world. Prop tech. Everyone is a prop in my world. <laughs> Hashtag prop tech. Welcome to, welcome to Talk About. It's my show, everybody's a prop. <coughs> no matter what. Um, even this cat. Right. Woo. You're a prop. Woo. So what's been going on in the world? Like, I mean, you know, you didn't experience a lot of it, work and trying to cut your head off. <laughs> what have you been up to? Like, you've been working? You've Cutting been working out? You've been, oh, you've, been, you've been cutting weight, you've been Ooh, gaining weight. I'm trying I'm trying I'm trying to get there, man. Are you you're an exhibitionist, aren't you? Like don't you show? Like not I'm that kind of that. exhibitionist. <laughs> well, well, hashtag, probably that kind of sexual exhibitionist. Hey, hey, that, that's only with my candles though. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag props. Hey, man. Romance candle. <laughs> romance candle. Yeah, right Somebody there. got a lot of romance out of that thing. <laughs> hey, we did find some uh, stuff on the floor earlier today, so He's talking about the condoms. That were just all the garage floor. There's just some condoms. There's just condoms. I mean, I, At least they the are. Mm -hmm. Just the condoms, man. They're just condoms. You know, just... He's planning for spur of the moment sex. <laughs> On the floor with his pants. At any point, like, it's oh, what are Oh, look what we have here. <laughs> with all the condoms. Where you are, yeah. there's always that within reach, yeah. there are condoms. <laughs> I imagine, so here's, here's the scenario I imagine. You know, he's got a girl here, he's got a roll his candles in. <laughs> and then he's like, you know, oh, look what I found. And that's where it ends. That's why he just keeps on dropping it, and this just keeps getting farther down. Yeah. Like, all these condoms on the cups, they never get used. Yeah. It's all because but there's spiders, spiders everywhere. Also spiders. that. Spiders. Yeah. Spiders. Cobwebs for non use. Yep. That's yeah. exactly what it is. Yeah. Actual fake cobwebs. This like room is ones. real, I mean, it's. It's real roomy potential. Yeah. Uh, except for the whole part where it is. We've had some live ass parties. There have been some really great parties in this room. Yeah. Um, some people cats. will actually recognize this room. <coughs> oh, that's true. I've, I've watched been to the several show. Halloween parties here. Several. Yeah. Christmas party. Ugly sweater. Yes. Party. Yes. Yeah. Remember that one? There's you still have your sweater that you made yourself. I do. It wasn't even a sweater, it was a sweatshirt. There was a Jay sweatshirt that Jason, you threw on. It was an ugly sweater <laughs> Christmas party. Jason took a white sweatshirt and drew, like, actually a pretty funny little, like, snowman scene on it. Yeah, it was, it was well done, I thought. Huh? Yeah, it was well I'm not saying it was a good job, I'm saying it's not a sweater. Snowman, and it was like a very picturesque, like, little cabin with some trees in the, in mm -hmm. the distance and stuff, and the snowman was holding a sign or something that said snow jobs, yep. I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Snow jobs. Yeah, that's what it said. And that was the punchline. That was the whole thing. Snow jobs. Um, and, you, and he you was know, wearing that. <laughs> which I think underneath his underneath his quintessential hoodies. Which I think <laughs> snow job is an actual uh, colloquialism, right? It means like a con. Like oh yeah. If you get snow job, like I think it means like someone has has tricked you into paying for something. Probably yeah. Uh, like like that kind of thing. 
So it's the it's, fuck is that? I actually meant it as a, a joke, more of a sexual <laughs> blowjob kind of joke. Yes. Yeah. Uh, That's what we gathered. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but just in case I needed to have <coughs> you an to alternate in, ending. Emphasize. In case there needed to be an alternate ending for mm. the story of how I developed and why I developed my my sweat sweatshirt. Sweatshirt. Yeah, sure. With sweatshirt. I also find it ironic that you are, in fact, wearing a shirt with a snowman on it right now. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. It's a snowman. I like snowman. Yeah. I like I like jobs. <laughs> you guys ever read the Cold Hands? The Calvin and Hobbes. Yeah. Uh, I I think they used to do like Calvin would do like uh, snowman. He peed on a lot of stuff. I know. Yeah. He would do he would do snowmen in the yard <laughs> and like put them into crazy scenes like uh -huh. like all of the snowmen were having a riot or like burning another snowman at the stake what the heck? or like you know there would it would always I, I feel like that was Calvin and Hobbes it might have been a different <laughs> kind of fever dreams <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's no, I'm kidding. pretty sure it was Calvin and Hobbes I remember those on the the Sunday. Sunday comics or whatever. I yeah, feel like he would he would just create these crazy scenes with snowmen. They were always like, oh my god, like that's horrible <laughs> and fantastic at the same time. I just always remember like the Calvin peeing on things. Oh a sticker yeah, sticker on everything. Every, like, every truck. Every truck had Calvin pissing on something. Yeah. That was like my memory of. It was every that? every Chevy truck had him pissing on a Ford logo. Every Ford yeah. truck had him pissing on a Chevy logo, pretty much. But does, does, was that ever even in the strip? Like, was there ever... There had to have been one time did they, like, that he peed that? on something. Or did they just pull his silhouette? I don't know. To do no, the No, was definitely him, because he was turning around and looking at you while he was pissing. That was the whole shtick. Yeah, but, like, was it actually in the comics? Or did somebody just draw that? I feel like it must have been at the comics at some point when he was like, well, but then, like being a little asshole or something. But then wouldn't there be a royalty check? Like I would assume. There may be. Like that that might be official license. I'm totally willing stuff. to sell this so? character's image to piss on things. <laughs> really? Just because it's just like disrespect. I mean, because if it's not, if it's not official <coughs> license merchandise, they can totally sue. Who who is that? Bill Gaines? What's the name of that? I don't have a clue. Who did Calvin Hobbes? Nobody knows? Justin probably looked it up on his magic box there. Yeah. I probably could. But, but anyway, I don't know if an artist would do, I guess they would. I guess if you paid enough, if there were enough money involved in it, like, fuck it. <coughs> yeah, but then so many people do that. What? Like, make those stickers and stuff. How can they keep track? Do they? You can literally go to a mall and be like, hey, I want to get the sticker. And they'll be like, all right, I'll make it for you. Put on your car. Hmm. I don't know. So that's like, I don't know. Like a little, little sticker kiosk <laughs> or whatever where they exactly. basically just do it. And like For the decals, and then you can like go to like random people and they'll probably be like, yeah, I got that logo. I got that sticker for you. I'll go ahead and make it for you. Hmm. Maybe. I, don't, I mean, I don't see why not. But, I mean, it's... it's uh. <coughs> Seems like they open themselves up to a lawsuit in that case, you know? Yeah, but they'll never find them. I guess. Mm. Or it could be like a slightly off version, like an acceptable, like acceptable just, deviation. Of, just enough deviation right. from the actual uh, Calvin. Mm. The, what do you got over there, Justin? Anything? I'm trying to find the image in question right now. Um, Okay, first of all, why are you wearing shorts? What's up? Why wouldn't you wear shorts? This, this is like the first time I've ever saw him wear shorts. Uh, <laughs> I mean... And it's weird. It's like you shaving your face. <laughs> that was weird. <coughs> you know, it's still warm. It's got the... It's warm in the day. I thought it was cool because of your bug bites. What? I thought it was because of your bug bites. Uh, from, from the game? No. No. No, actually it's because of laundry. Uh, like these are actually very, my very last pair of <coughs> anything clean. Uh, Don't so, have any other clothes. Gotta wear the jorts. Yeah, yeah. So I went with the the old denim shorts. Are are my very last thing that I'm willing to wear. Before <laughs> these I are the last resort shorts. Yeah, yeah, basically. 
You're just like, uh, it's in its own little drawer, and you're just like, I don't have anything to wear. <laughs> oh, dang. Better do some laundry. Last That's why I have nothing. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> I hate doing laundry. I just shove everything in, in the freaking uh, washer. washer thing. You don't need to separate. No. Mm-hmm. You don't need no. But why would you? They're all going to get dirty anyways. Well, I mean, it's supposedly like your whites will fade faster. That's what I don't wear anything that's white. So I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, I have like two or three things and they've already faded. So <laughs> it's like at this point, might as well have a lot of bother. Yeah. And I mean, really, like, who's trying to keep socks super crisp? Yeah. Like, I always wear black socks, that doesn't really affect me. There, there was a time back, you know. Working in uh, working as a server at, at this time place, I used to have to wear a white shirt all the time and, and trying to keep, you know, I only had like two or three of them. That's the only white that I, that I wore. So like then just washing three shirts at once and then everything else, it got really tedious. Um, so eventually I just started washing everything together. Plus you're going to be doing like more than one load of laundry. Then yeah. The church starts going down a lot faster. That's always annoying. See, we're talking about laundry. I know. <laughs> we are talking about laundry. Damn. I did find out some stuff about Calvin Hobbes. Yeah? <coughs> yeah. Anything interesting? Yes. Okay. Water. 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 All right. So, uh, Waters. a bootleg empire. <laughs> so, uh, what it, it says here that, uh, that Calvin and Hobbes creator Bill Waterson says he has nothing to do with the lewd caricature of his beloved Calvin. Not really? Awesome. Yes. Uh, he was vehemently against licensing uh, for his character, uh, and then there was a, a comic strip that uh, came out in the late '80s that showed Calvin like uh, deviously, like putting uh, like, that, like take crap in a water balloon. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so, at some point in time, shortly after the comic strip ended, the image of Calvin peeing on a Ford symbol came out. And that's that was, was the first one, was being on board? Yeah. Oh, wow. And then it just kind of went wild from there. Okay. Grew like wildfire. Yep. Yeah, but so not actually was, was not Calvin ever drawn pissing yeah. on anything, and it was not licensed. But the, the creator hasn't done anything about it? Uh, I think there is, um, there's some, cool. Yes, yeah, so a series of a threat, uh, a series of arrests and legal threats. Oh, oh wow! Yes, so we got intense. Oh yeah, I, I mean, I would too. If you're taking oh, yeah. a beloved family character and uh, having to piss on everything, I'd probably be pretty upset. Right. Yeah, especially if it's eating into your your sales or whatever. You know, like people are like, I, I don't too. really want my family to have this on their coffee table or whatever because this little kid. Pees on everything. Like they're gonna see him peeing on stuff, and they're gonna want to pee on stuff. Exactly. <laughs> My kids are peeing on stuff because this guy's peeing on stuff. So, yeah. so you definitely guys, not your bad parenting. Do you guys have a friend in your close group that, uh, that does pees on stuff? That pees on stuff. Absolutely, we all know that that's true. <laughs> um, tech, tech is the one in every friend group that has <laughs> stickers all over their car. That likes to take their car. And then decorate it with basic aspects of who they are as a human being. Yeah, I, I know a couple people. Who, you know, I I don't know if I know anybody that like just covers it in the series, but I know people who have like several that have that have enough for yeah. you to notice uh-huh. that they got some serious stickers going on. And you got a few in your car. Uh, well, I bought it with a couple. <laughs> and you put talking about something, and then I put one of our stickers over <coughs> some of the stickers that I, yeah. that I came with. I just haven't peeled the other stickers off. Mm. Uh, uh, one of them, like, I've got a Yeti sticker, and I think Yeti is like a... Like a drink? Yeah, they like to make... Cooler, cooler. They make, they they make, make insulated cups yeah. and like insulated containers, and I don't really support them. <laughs> like, they're a pretty decent product, I'm pretty sure. I, I feel like a lot of people... Have their product, and but you weren't looking to advertise for them. <laughs> but right? no, I'm not trying to advertise. No. Yeah, unless they want us to. And I don't know. And I see that a lot. That's one of those stickers that I feel like I see on a lot of people's cars. I like, want to love Yeti. 
<laughs> Punctured Justin directly. Um, but that's, I feel like, and, and why is everybody advertising that? Like, why do you want the people behind you in traffic to be like, oh, that's how they like their beverages? You know? Like, in a Yeti. I'm picturing them up there, like, jamming out to their radio, like, and sipping on a cold drink. Yeah. Now I know exactly the container <laughs> that they are sipping on that cold drink. I like to really fill in the details. <laughs> but I'm also sure. they make big giant coolers too. So, so they, they could have like outdoorsmen. They could have a cooler in the back as well. Could, yeah. I do I have one of those SUVs. And then you know what? The the SUVs? Uh huh. Yeah. No, I can what would be hilarious is you start trying to pass them, there's no cooler. He has a Walmart cooler in the background, or in the back seat. You drive right next to him, he has like a regular cup. And you're just like, well, the window. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, you, need to, you need to take off your sticker. What is wrong with you? Yeah, I mean, if you're driving around with the Yeti sticker on your car, you better be drinking it every day in Yeti. You know, right? Yeah. You should like, be. it's bad enough that you're just I mean, you have an Apple sticker on your car, and you don't I have do. an iPhone. <laughs> I don't so have a uh, Apple. <laughs> No, it's not even like one from a tree. The only thing you have made by Apple is the sticker on the back of your car. Mm-hmm. Mine might not even be made by Apple. Yeah. Yeah. They're not even made by Apple. Yeah. They do give it away with all their stuff, though. Yeah. But he yeah. doesn't have it. It looks like the yeah. kind of sticker someone would have just peeled off a box <laughs> and like put onto the car. Like, it probably would happen. I've always wanted to do that. Though. Now, with that, I remember there used to be a lot of people who would who would have like the the Quicksilver emblem on their on their car. There's like also the Quicksilver the, clothing and then Roxy, which was their female yeah. line. But there's also uh, like Salt Life. You see that one all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, Salt Life. I belong which, at the beach. Salt Life. That's that's literally anyone who's ever been to a beach gets gets a Salt Life sticker. Apparently, I didn't. No, yeah, I've been to the beach. Where plenty. You, you didn't get one. I, I, yeah. I, I oh, you're going wrong beaches apparently. But that's that's <laughs> it used to be. Salt Life was about was was for people who uh, actually did like sports and and like you know jet skiing and 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 regular skiing and wakeboarding and stuff like that. And then uh, then it was. Just anybody who has been to the beach can just go to the Salt Life sticker. Salt Life. So. I mean, it seems like the original concept comes from, like, showing, like, your love for something or, like, being in a club. Mm. And, like, you know, that kind of thing. Like, I'm in the Wiener Dog Club. And they, <laughs> the Wiener Dog Club. Y'all see, I know y'all have seen it in traffic. There's tons of people that have, like, I love my dog. Or, oh, yeah. or they'll have, like, a Dachshund sticker. And, the, you know, like, all kinds of crazy yeah. ass, you know, I love my pet, you know, keep pets free, like, and just... Keep pets free? You know, keep pets free. <coughs> so, like, <laughs> I want my pets free. I want, I want, I want free, free pets. Free charge free free pets for everyone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just because he said that. I think yeah. everyone needs a therapy dog. It does go into the adopt, don't shop thing, yeah. I guess, but... True. Even still, they're not free. Like, you have to pay for shots and stuff, but... But uh, talking about uh, being in a club and everything, and stickers and stuff, in high school, <laughs> all right, in high school, I was, me and my, my boys, we got like a huge like group, right? Of mm-hmm. course, everybody has of course, a group. Yeah, I remember. Yep. Have you guys ever named your guys' group and stuff? And wore jackets? <laughs> and had things similar to that and stuff, yeah. That's like, a game. Like, it's called again. Why can't I say that? Because I was I'm from California. Did, did, did you import <laughs> symbols mean, on mean. the back of your leather jackets? It was sweaters okay. and backpacks. All right, and they, they were all embroidered. embroidered right? And they were embroidered, right? So wait, what it was, was which, actually which symbol. It was actually like <laughs> painted on there. Okay, what was yeah, the name of your game? gang? <laughs> All right. So simple terms, right? Simple terms, right? Me and your crew, guys. I just want to let you know, I got your back. You're on the show now. It's called TSK. They're taking right. over. The first meeting. Oh, actually, what do you guys think it's, it's actually called? TSK. TSK. Uh, sex, sexy killers. <laughs> the, the South. <laughs> the South. The South. I got it right. First time. The South Side Kings. <laughs> the South Side Kings. <laughs> oh, you live in the South. Wow. Oh, well, you should. Sure. <laughs> you were in the right? South of California. You were so in Southern like, Cali. Were you? Were you a wine bar right. motherfucker? Is that what you were doing? Was, was it stolen on there? TSK. 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 Tiny Strong Killers. I don't know. Tiny Strong. Dang. Tiny Strong Kids. Right. Tiny Tiny Strong. You want to be a tiny? Tiny is definitely a So I don't know what the rest of them are. Was Team Shinobi Clan because most of us are literally Asian. Team Shinobi Clan. Okay. okay. Then we got stupid and we were like, and team shopping cart. 
right. Now, with here in the South, people don't know what that is. They call it a buggy. Okay. And they don't spell like, like that. Both car and clan are C words. <laughs> yes. I like that. I mean, depending on the clan that you're with, I guess. Ooh, yikes. Well, you're getting in the racist territory, my friend. Whoa, 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 whoa. All I you're the way it's been. You're the one saying I have a colored teeth. Can't really say that because he went to my house and you saw that I have you no colored teeth. All. All, I, all I can say is tisk. That's all I can say. Tisk, yep. Yeah. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Tisk, tisk, tisk. But, uh, <laughs> so, our symbols are the thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> Had to put it out there because, of course, <laughs> TSK. But uh, our symbols, right? It was a skull. Uh huh. We're geeks. And explain to me how this is not a game. <laughs> we didn't kill people or, like, uh-huh. do bad things. Uh-huh. Did you guys have rituals? No, we actually didn't. Was it a cult? Not a cult. <laughs> not a cult. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe they were a club. See, we're just clubs. Did you guys do, like, community outreach? Drinking beer in people's houses. Yeah. Okay. And reaching out to those beers. Yeah. Reaching like, out, reach out, 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 out while yeah. you're in the community. Did you buy those beers from the local community? You can be like the gas station. <laughs> get the goods from the gas station. Sometimes, sometimes you just show up there. You can rob the gas station. Sometimes you don't just hey, show up and exactly. take the beer y'all wanted because y'all was a lot of you and like the gas and the gas station attendant will be like, hey, hey, where are you? I'm gonna call the cops. Because then you're gay. Yeah. <laughs> if that's if anybody right. asked, it was TSK. Shoot. Actually, now that I think about it, I think we actually did get called by the cops a couple of times. We got kicked out of a lot of places. Because okay. okay. parkour, we all, we, a lot of us used to do that. Parkour. Uh, parkour, parkour. So now it's all coming together. Are you making this up? Are you making this up? I'm dead serious. I'm serious. I'm dead serious. We, we even have like a couple of videos on YouTube about that stuff. Don't look it up. No, 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 no. no. Oh, we gotta look it up now. TSK, we gotta find right? this. TSK parkour. <laughs> Southern this Cali, TSK. Um, there's a place in uh, California. Parkour. It's a university that used to be a mental institute. It's a uh, um, Cal State Channel Islands. We got kicked out of that. you just slow the fuck down to say that again? Cal State Channel Islands. Cal, Cal State, State Channel, Channel Islands. Islands. Okay. That's important that you slow that down because I need to look it up later. Mental Institute got kicked <laughs> out. All right, it, so it's now literally we're one of the some like, roots. It's supposedly like a haunted place because Scary Dairy's there, but that's another story. Anyway, which I want to hear. Okay, well we'll get to that. Okay, we got kicked out of that place. I believe twice. I want to say three times. All seems very feasible, <laughs> but definitely <laughs> viable. We were literally doing parkour and stuff, like hitting the walls with our feet and everything, putting handprints and. You know, footprints all over the place. Doing backflips and shit. Doing backflips, side flips, you know, gators, doing all that stuff. So that's why they thought that shit was haunted, because there was a bunch of parkour motherfuckers <laughs> in the rafters, fucking <laughs> jumping around. I swear, I saw them right there. Yeah. The fucking ninjas, man, they're yeah. Asian. Yeah. The Just hopping what? around in the, in the fucking steel said. beams and shit. Like, but, um, so, our symbols, right? It was a skull. Nerds, like I said. Uh, we got it from. The, <laughs> What's a game? It was a game. We got it from this animal oh. called Bleep. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I. Oh. Yeah. Thinking about gangs too much? Yeah, I'm so excited about gang. we're gang. Yeah. We're gang. But uh, we did, like I said, we did parkour and everything, right? Yeah. We had these ticker, the stickers, slaps, you know, of course. And um, we would put it at different spots and places in our high school. So you would vandalize. You're tagging places with these stickers. You can take it off. Okay. You're All right. vandalizing. All right. We don't like that. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> so we would put it up, like, at random places and stuff. Um, the last time I visited my high school, there was still three stickers out of, like, the dozens of stickers that we put up and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Still there. Proud moments, of course, because it's, like, at high places. My boy, uh, Kevin Inario. Get the full name out there for the cops. Good I job. had to. <laughs> <laughs> but he ran up the wall and it was like about he went about like a good maybe like 10, 12 feet up a wall slapped the sticker up there and I'm like dude I can't get that no one can get that went back there no one can get it <laughs> bucket <laughs> trucks nope yeah, I was like well you don't want to bring a truck over there and stuff like that it's literally like <laughs> they will take that shit <laughs> my guy I mean my club would, would my take friend that group. they would donate friend group Donated to the poor and community. Mostly all Asians. Asians. Mostly, buddies. Mostly all Asians and stuff. But, uh, <coughs> yeah, like, we we were kind of, we were, we were bad kids. You were bad guys. Oh, you, you, you got vandalism, disturbing the peace. Well, how, how did we disturb the peace? Absolutely. You made people think they were ghosts. 
what else? Trespassing? Trespassing. Yeah. It wasn't like, trespassing because... Oh, dang it. Yeah. <laughs> this is all gang. <laughs> it is not a gang. It sounds like a remake of that. Your, your symbol was a skull. You were tagging everybody break, with your point skull. Break. Yeah. <laughs> I think he was in a gang from Point Break. <laughs> Listen, I'm I'm bring that skull in one day, one of these days. I feel like that he probably had a run in with with uh, Master Shredder a long ass time ago, <laughs> and like had an opportunity to join the Foot Clan. Yeah. And just like, no, I'm gonna create my own clan and spell with a K. <laughs> well, you gotta bring Master Shredder. I don't know if Master Shredder was ever in Southern <coughs> Cali. I'm pretty sure that was in New York. Listen, how would you know? All over the place, uh, cause, Cause we've uh, seen Ninja Turtles. I've seen Ninja Turtles. Yeah. I mean, I'm just basing it off of you know. Sure. Well, where else are you going to get a recruit? But he did say that he wanted to take over the world in some way. <laughs> yeah, and they didn't because Ninja Turtles. Mm-hmm. Ninja That's because they stayed in one spot, which they were stupid. They should have just went somewhere else because Ninja Turtles don't got plane tickets. Right. You're absolutely right there. Yeah. yeah. He should have legitimately just been like, oh, wait, my arch nemesis and his like group of Ninja Turtles are in the sewers here. Let me just move to the next city. Yeah. <laughs> and, exactly. And I can do this exact thing <laughs> completely unscathed and right. unended. What Unless, in New York? What if that other there? place though has like some other mutant creatures that are gonna fight in there? Ah, like, oh, see now you're talking. Now you're thinking outside. Multiverse. Yes. Each city has Is its that, own super mutant uh, teenage monsters living in the sewers. Now we're in, what that are pets? There, there was like a bunny or something, right? There was like a space samurai. Teenage mutant ninja oh. bunnies. Bunny. <laughs> in the uh, in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I don't know if it's Space Jam. I know I know you're talking there about. There was a there was a rock steady. There was a that rhino. There was a rhino. I had a whole bunch of the the toys growing up from Ninja Turtles. There was and a, there was there was like a Bushido bunny or something like that. Something like that. Um, Bushido bunny. I remember it was he he was seriously like samurai out. Um, so it's terrifying. It was. Yeah, by design, I'm sure. He would. He'd, he'd take you apart. Yeah. Very honorable bunny. <laughs> His ears can even hold swords. I don't know, I don't know if that's true. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if that's true. That's, well, I need to say <laughs> that's a badass, <laughs> like, freaking idea, though. I agree. Yeah. I don't know how much, how many muscle groupings are in there. I mean, it kind of makes you wonder, because sometimes, you know, you, you get the flop-eared bunnies, mm-hmm. which are adorable. Yep. Uh, and they got their, the big old floppy ears. Right. That's what they call them. And you just, like... Where's all the cartilage? I don't know. And then you got like the the hairs or whatever that's got like the real stiff. Yeah. And and then you can like kind of like fold them down, but then they just pop right back up. Right. Yeah. But Pokemon did it. I don't know why I was talking about Pokemon those. Pokemon did what? I think they're cute. Having bunnies that have like ears of power and shit. Ears of power. Those aren't bunnies. Those are Pokemon. Yeah. But it's still bunny created. Oh, like. Idealized by a bunny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Like they got their their, their conceptual his, his, art came from their knowledge of real world bunnies. Right. His, his ears are tucked back into a like a, a man samurai bun. ponytail. Yeah. Did you find him? I did. What's his name? Uh, Bushido Bunny, I guess. But it's not bunny. it. Why don't you just put Bunny from a? Uh, Bushido Bunny is what that says. Who was what the name Usagi Yojimbo. Yeah, Usagi Yojimbo. What? Is that it? The the Usagi Yojimbo are you just, saga. Are you just repeating what I said? No, because no, you said that and, uh, it, Usagi, I wasn't saying, Yojimbo. Usagi Yojimbo, yeah. Yeah. Was Usagi the, Yojimbo. Yeah, Bushido was Bunny. Samurai Bunny. Mm-hmm. Bushido Bunny. Bushido Bunny. Samurai Bushido Bunny. So there's there's turtles. In the sewers bunnies. of Manhattan. So, like, what would be the teenage mutant ninja in Atlanta? In our oh, city. Oh, I Listen, if you guys are laughing right now, you guys need to watch the other episodes. <laughs> yeah, watch that one sided quiz. <laughs> It takes a fatal turn right off the bat. Oh my god! <laughs> right off the rip. Oh, it's I love like the Jason laughing at himself though, because oh my god, that was hilarious. <laughs> um, 
I don't know. Like, what's Teenage Mutant Ninja? Ninja? Teenage Mutant Ninja Falcons. Falcons. Teenage Mutant Living in the sewers of Atlanta. Falcons. Well, you wouldn't live in the sewers. They would. Atlanta is actually, what, the greenest metropolitan city in the country or something like that? So, like, there's plenty of trees. That's I'm not making that up, actually. Um, I'm just saying, like, they would be living in the trees. Turtles are in the sewers. They're in the trees. No, yeah, I get it. They could could live in Piedmont Park. Mm -hmm. They could. They could live in Stone Mountain Park. They could live in Stone Mountain Park. I heard that's a good idea. Still want someone? Yeah. I've never, I've never actually hiked the whole thing. Uh, I was going to one time with. You've like never a, hiked the whole thing. No, I was going to with a with a, a girlfriend at the time and, and some friends, and they they all were like, "Okay, we hiked like a quarter of the way. We're gonna turn back." I'm like, oh, that's what this is. Quitters. Got it. All right. <laughs> it was just a walk. Is that real? Yeah. Like, who does that? I don't know. Like, well, I can tell you. But I mean, me and Justin put life and limb on the line to make it to the top of a mountain and back. Yeah. You know, out there in Denver, almost killed one of our best friends, almost went to jail. <laughs> he almost died. <laughs> almost went to jail. Yeah, so now died. you guys are in the club. You Wait, guys <laughs> are gigs. I don't know about no, that. No, 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 no. It was just because he, he got exhausted. Oh, okay. Yeah. But how did and you guys almost go to jail? Because uh, there was a, a, a timer on, like, leaving the park. Or, well, we wouldn't have gone to jail. We just got a big fat ticket. Yeah. I was using hyperbole to make it cooler. <laughs> you caught me on, on a previous episode, though, right? Yeah, yeah. on our Colorado episode. Yeah. Colorado. I want to go to Colorado. Oh, it was a blast. Yeah. It was so did, I, did I tell the my hiking story on, on the show? I don't know where you went up a quarter of the way up Stone Mountain. No, not that one. Where, like where I, I climbed a mountain and... in flip flops and then saw a girl that like died. Oh yeah, yeah. You actually, I think you did mention that. That it's scary. Shit. And we yeah. we talked about how that was kind of messed up. That like you, you went up there that and person? yeah, and you're you weren't sure where this girl went. And then the next day, like, well, it's not that. Like we, she was there when we left, and then I found out the next day that she'd fallen off and died. Yeah, that happened. I don't know if you've seen that episode, but that was weird. I haven't really uh, saw a lot of the episodes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I work at day job a lot. <laughs> Damn day job. Damn day job. Day job. I don't find any time for extra entertainment. TV? I don't even have a TV at the house. You know, that, you know. But you don't have a, a computer or a phone? Or Do you have a smartphone? Yeah. You have a TV? <laughs> you want to pay for my dad? What? How much does your Actually, cost? I can't really say that because I have unlimited data. I thought you said you want me to pay for your dad. We'll That's what I heard too. Cost. I like, can't what stop is, thinking what about what can you do? Teenage Mutant <coughs> Ninja Falcons. Teenage. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure they would wreck some Teenage Mutant Ninja. They Falcons. absolutely would. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think Falcons of the same variety and strength or whatever. Of, they're gonna of be turtles. picking. They're gonna be picking turtle out of their beaks. Yeah, they are gonna take it inside the shells. Yeah, and then have like a southern draw. <laughs> I <laughs> see. I see that was mighty fine turtle soup I just had. I see. That's uh. That's some custard. Courtesy of pain medicine. <laughs> That is definitely a Western accent. It was a uh, Southern. It was Southern. That was like Foxy Sam Western. Yeah, it kind of had a generic foghorny leg. Well, of kinda. course it did. We're talking about Southern birds. Where did you think I was gonna go? I thought you were nah, just you going there. Falcons are like all over the place, not just Southern. But we're talking about Atlanta Falcons. Oh, like good Atlanta Falcons. mutant ninja Falcons. Like Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. <laughs> You know, like that Savannah Southern. Yeah, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Nin- Ninja Falcons. Yeah, <laughs> Midnight in the Garden of Ninja Falcons. Oh, they could, they could stay at the, what's that big old rock thing? Stone Mountain. <laughs> is that the one with the light? Yeah. Yes. yes, it is. With the laser show? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's Stone Mountain. They got uh, the big that, carving on the side. Yeah. You know? Bunch of dudes well, I, went I up bet, there. I bet I mean, Jason almost suits. made that a question for you. <laughs> <laughs> and the under, re- under regional. Yeah. Need the largest single piece of granite. <laughs> in the that's state of Georgia. Atlanta. <laughs> right, yeah, that's the, the state of Georgia. What are we doing with these fortune cookies you got here? Oh, well, we do have some fortune cookies. Me and Jason had some some Chinese for dinner. Yeah, that's very, very fortunate. It was very fortunate. <laughs> 
But I figure, you know, we're, we're in a different environment. Maybe there's some, like, magic juju in the air or something. We should read our fortunes and see who gets okay. it. Before we do, do you actually believe in that stuff? Is it more entertaining if I say yes? <laughs> and if you do believe in it, <laughs> at the end of every sentence, what do you actually say? I, do you do the in-bed thing? <coughs> I don't know. You like, this, you like that one better? Yeah. After you crush this one up? That one's, that one's open. Yeah. I'm going to try that one. <laughs> okay. All right. I think someone switched the message. All right. Over. So what we should definitely do is just crinkle this paper, like this plastic, right next to the microphone where it picks up real well. Well, they uh, got to, that's part of the experience. <laughs> is it? Every one of our, our friends at home or can't wherever Can't hear anything are, you're saying because of this. Can't hear anything we're saying, but it's the same experience after they get the fortune cookie because everybody at the table always gets the fortune mm -hmm. cookie at the same time. You know, they always reach for it, and it's just rattle, 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 rattle. Right. And then everybody takes a turn telling each other what crazy-ass, ridiculous fortune they're going to have. Right. That is generally forgotten by the time you actually get into your vehicle. All right. Yes. Well, uh, it looks like Tech <laughs> dove right in. Tech, uh, what, uh, what kind of food? I'm not done with my that? cookie yet. Oh, you have to eat the whole cookie first? I have no clue, actually. How does this go? I think you read. I'm the pretty sure right? we're counting on you <laughs> as an agent. Oh, I'm sorry. So, uh, so I'm sure us as, as expert. Here we go. This, this is what you guys got to do. This is what you guys got to do too. If you guys have fortune cookie in front of you, you Spontaneous first expert. crack your cookie. No, I fucked up my cookie. Just don't go for it. It's too late. <laughs> the spider's got it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to have it going after you. <laughs> so <laughs> you take out the paper, right? Uh -huh. Okay, that's a good idea. You have to emphasize it on, right? You have to be like, ah. oh, I didn't do that. Like you know, heart of the cards, ah. you do all things. You know. No, I don't. But go on. Then you read. Okay. What you got? Take a trip with a close friend. Then, at the end of your sentence, you say, "In bed." In bed. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. So that's Justin or Jason. You want to go next? Day? Uh oh. And if you want it to be all true, you got to eat the whole cookie. All right. Okay. But now it's never getting cookie. I don't feel like this is fortunate at all. Okay. Somebody is taking a break. <laughs> You'll accomplish more if you stay focused. In bed. No. <laughs> In bed. Dude, we love that face. <laughs> Justin, what you got? You will make many changes before settling satisfactorily in bed. So you're going to settle in bed. Settle. Satisfactorily. satisfactorily. Let's see. Um, okay. Your investments of time now will lead to success later in bed. That's a good one. If you eat this entire cardboard cookie. Mm -hmm. Which I feel like our crunching is probably going to be just as entertaining as oh, the plastic. Yeah. You know, there is very, very little flavor in that. Mm -hmm. It's the mildest hint of lemon and sugar. Yeah. And of course, you got your uh, lucky numbers on the back. Which. Uh, I never know. Oh. Not Maybe. really much for playing the lottery. <clears throat> oh, is that what this is for? Well, I don't recognize yeah. any of those no. numbers. Mm -hmm. I thought they were literally like, hey, if this is your lucky number, like my lucky number is 21. Oh, no. It's on there. Those are your lucky numbers now. Mm -hmm. It's telling you what your lucky numbers are yep. right now. I can somehow make this all equal out to 21. Get with it. Because you know I'm Asian. Oh. I'm good at math. <laughs> number 23, you mean? That's racist. It all comes down to the number 23. Are you sure about this? Or Jim yeah. Carrey. <laughs> well, it's number 23. <coughs> Find it everywhere. Yeah. True. All right, so we did a fortune cookie thing. How about that, right? I'm actually incredibly disappointed because I feel like you kind of got a fortune, but I, for the most part, it was just sort of statements about like, yep. like generic random truths. Like, yeah. It's not like a like a prediction, as much as it is just like I'm gonna put this hey, in the sock. Keep here's that. a truism. <coughs> yeah. I mean, like you know. The grass will eventually grow. Be green grow. if you water it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know. But now, sprinkler systems are a good investment. Let me ask you this, though. With yours, do you think that it's a positive for you? Hmm? 
What was yours again? Mine was about yes, staying focused. You'll accomplish more if you stay focused. As if like, it's like not my this. my current plan was like I'm really gonna knock some shit out by being completely scatterbrained all day today. Like that, that's what I'm thinking. It's, it's a conditional fortune. And now that I've read this, I know that was a stupid plan. <laughs> My original plan of just being ditzy and dumb all day and trying to accomplish more was bad. I should, I should have been focused in order to yep. do that. You should have been focused. And so I just feel like you could I don't have accomplished know. more by staying focused. I just, it was a waste of paper. It really was. I, I agree. <laughs> Mine wasn't. That was a good one. What was yours? Uh. You will take a trip with somebody. With a good friend. Uh, yep. Yeah. Take it out of my shoes. Stuff. Mm-hmm. Take a trip with a good friend. Or with a close oh, friend. Oh, so it's, it's telling you. See, now, now, now that's not a fortune, that's a demand. Oh. Like, <coughs> take a trip. No, no, no. no. See, that's now, a great fortune when you tell them to do what is on there, because then it's like a self-fulfilling yeah, prophecy. Yeah. It's just the way that you actually think about it, though. Because it does say take a trip with a close friend, right? Mm -hmm. Mostly saying in demand. But at the same time, also telling you a fortune for later on. So, like, let's say you do take a trip with a close friend. That means that fortune is telling you that it's going to be a good time. It's going to be, you know. That's not what it said at all. It just said take a trip. You guys are so close-minded. Are you saying (laughs) it's, it's saying, like, take a trip with a close friend, trust me. Exactly, because <laughs> good things are gonna happen on this trip. That if big, you that take good it. trip. Wink, wink, wink. Take a trip with a good, with a good close friend. So you just gotta, with a good, you just gotta good pretend good. like it's a somebody like a con artist or something like a, you know. Like letting you know, trust me, bro. <laughs> this listen, is what listen. you do. I'm gonna go take a crystal ball viewing and shit. I'm gonna like, take a trip with my close friend. I see you at work. Stone yeah. Mountain, and just watch. I'm gonna find those teenage mutant. Falcon Turtles. Oh, the Falcon Turtles. The Teenage Mutant Falcon Turtles. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. I'm going to take pictures of them. I'm going to die. I'm mm-hmm. going to send it to you guys. I'm going to text you. Be like, hey, if I don't come back, <laughs> just know it was the Falcons. I yeah. think they should actually put a carving on the other <clears throat> side of Stone Mountain of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Falcons. <laughs> they, should, they should carve up Stone Mountain. Like, like, there's just the one side where there's anything interesting on it. What, would, um, what names would you go for? Because, like, Splinter went with uh, uh, Renaissance Painters, right? Right, okay, yeah. Um, so what would be... You know what would happen? Being that it's Georgia and being that it's Stone Mountain, they would just name them off the four generals on the on Stone Mountain, probably. Mm-hmm. True. Okay. What you do is, does anybody know who this are? It's uh, Lee <laughs> and Stonewall Jackson and, mm-hmm. and... Yeah, those other guys. And those other guys? <laughs> what, what if... Someone did a twofer, right? Watch this and decided to go to Stone Mountain, carve out, like, literally the Falcons in those actual uh, carvings already. That would take a lot of time. And yeah, that's going to be tough to knock out overnight. Yeah. You the, might need your whole crew. That's one of the things that people don't realize <laughs> about, about the carvings. Those are free climb. Yeah. Parkour, hey. parkour, 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 parkour. But yeah, the, the carvings on Stone Mountain are bigger than the carvings on Mount Rushmore. Like, they're they're huge mm-hmm. bigger yeah never, Mount Rushmore looks there. big in like all the <coughs> pictures and stuff but when you get there you're like wow I can hold you in the palm of my hand that is right you're like this isn't so big at all <laughs> like no we're at the you're looking we're at, at the, the shop oh, like it's oh, over there. Oh. still not that big no but mm-hmm. like there's something about like you could easily park a bus on the mustache of one of the guys on Stone Mountain or something like that like it's it's yeah, that big. Way. That's what I've heard. I don't I don't know one's done it, but no one's done it probably. Well, Dave, mm-hmm. it sounds like a call to arms. We have an outing. Me. We have an outing planned now to park some buses on on a mountain. <coughs> oh, no, that's definitely a, just a, just for Dave thing. Oh, I don't know how to drive a bus. I do. Yeah, I'll I'll do the getaway bus. Get in the van. I mean bus. Get in the van bus. I'm going to park a bus on that mustache someday. That sounds, <laughs> that sounds sexual and gross the way you said it. Right? Uh, you know what's hilarious though? The last time I went to uh, Stone Mountain yeah. and they did the fireworks show, a tree caught a fire. Really? Yeah, I saw it like, it was just like a small little dot and I was like, that's a fire. That's going to grow 
No one's doing anything. Everyone's looking at the fireworks. I'm looking at the fire. I'm like, when should I get out of here, right? Mm-hmm. So it started off as, as a little dot. Then, out of nowhere, the big old tree. Fire. And I was like, ah, what did I tell you guys? And no one's still doing anything. They're still looking at the fireworks. Wow, it's Meanwhile, so bright. The tree on fire. Just, yeah. yeah. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, the uh, fire department starts coming. They're doing their lights and everything. This uh, one chick like right beside me or something it just made me laugh so hard she said oh my god there's fireworks on the floor and i'm like that's a freaky like uh um, it's a fire yeah it was, it's a fire with a fire truck it's a forest right fire. like it's literally the same lights as the fire trucks i'm like hmm. how do you think that that's a firework on the floor why would they put it on the floor because people are stupid people are stupid people are stupid and they believe stupid things true very true. They're all just very stupid people. I haven't been to the fireworks show or the laser show in a long time. I guess. Long time. Maybe yeah. we should go do that. Adventure. Yeah, also I feel never, like we need to get out and do more. Yeah. This, this was a nice change of pace, I you think. I think we should do. Nope. Well, I'm going to fucking tell you. Cool. Think. I think, because it's autumn. Autumn is in the air. And all of us excluding tech because i'm not sure but i'm going to assume they we all like halloween yeah what the i don't know you i don't know if you (laughs) like halloween i know he likes halloween i know he likes halloween i haven't asked you yet so i'm not going to make the assumption we haven't spent a halloween with you who doesn't like halloween okay so my assumption is right then you do like halloween i figured you did i just didn't want to speak i actually died i just wanted to say that shit i'm just kidding i'm kidding (laughs) So, so Halloween. Anyway. <laughs> Halloween. Halloween. I think we should take Talkie Box mm-hmm. to a corn maze. Oh yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm How about that? The out. four of us and whoever else we can convince to come jerk all around in the in the corn with us, like yeah, jerk around, huh? jerk around <laughs> in the corn. <laughs> you know what we should do? We should time ourselves. The First Talkie Maze 2017. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, I'm down with. It. What do you think? Like, I, I, <coughs> I'm sure we could research like what the local corn mazes are. I know there's one near the studio. But, Hashtag um, corny box. But that's the thing, corn mazes. Like, yeah, you know. <laughs> I, I want to say we actually. Hashtag. I think Tech and I passed one on the way here today, uh, or I saw. Some, I saw. No, 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 it was last night. There's one um, near the bowling alley. A maze. Um, yeah, corn maze. So, yeah, I'm yeah. sure we can find one. We can find several. We can do, we can do it a bunch of times. Mm-hmm. Just keep paying our five bucks or whatever. Uh, yeah. see, box. see which ones no, are the hardest yeah. ones. We could uh, we could judge them for the yeah. people. So tell so, people like so where the five. best corn maze is. We tried six corn mazes today, and I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of them are crappy. <laughs> What the, I always I'll start I don't know some of them are only four feet tall like I can see <laughs> the entire Jason has an unfair advantage on these corn mazes but I I don't know I always assumed until very recently actually that uh, corn mazes were like sort of like haunted houses where like there's people in the maze like there to scare you and stuff mm-hmm. and apparently that's not the case it's just like yeah go walk in the, walk in the corn yeah it's it's actually they cut them in specific like maze patterns and yeah. then generally they'll actually put <laughs> the map, like the key to the maze, Mm -hmm. in certain points (coughs) on the maze. Okay. And then you use that key and basically memorize like your next 15 steps or whatever and and that'll get you out. Okay, turn here, then here. Third right, second left. Yeah. Second right. Well, I know know for a fact I'm not allowed to go into that maze if people are going to scare me. You're not allowed to? (laughs) I'm not allowed. Unless I'm with somebody, I'm not allowed. Like someone's gonna get hurt. Gonna get all yeah, someone's gonna get hurt. <laughs> You're gonna get all hurt. Look, like, like, oh. um, there's the like Queen Mary is a big huge ship, right? It's a haunted ship that's mm-hmm. in um, California. And me and my girlfriend at the time, we went over there, and we almost got kicked out because of it. <laughs> we went into like this huge like box thing, right, with a whole bunch of people, and the guy was that's in there. He was running the maze. He's like. Oh, you guys gotta find your way out. Well, bitch, if you told me to find my way out, I'm gonna go find my way out, right? There's a girl that was. I'm not sticking around. Exactly. (laughs) I'm like, I ain't gonna die today. (laughs) But um, there's this girl that was. You can literally tell that the door slides this way. She was going like this. And I'm like, 
get out of the way. Grab that sucker. Slung that thing over, you know. Of course you guys know that I already work out and everything. Slung that bad boy. I didn't know that there was another person on the other side. Came up. Ran up to me. This is what my uh, my girlfriend at the time told me. Hits my chest, bounces off. He thought that I pushed him. Oh. And I was just like, I didn't do nothing. Like he legitimately just hit my chest and bounced off. Like what did he hit it with? His chest. Like running, running yeah. at you and, and like he just ran into you? Chest. <laughs> like, like he'd go, was it like for a tackle or was it like... To, I get, I don't know. Like maybe like it's I, because... What's up, bro? I, I guess maybe it's because like I slung the door and like he came up to me and he's like, put your hands in your pockets. Put your hands in your pockets. I'm like, what I do? Put your hands in your pockets. I'm like, all right, my bad, my bad, my bad. And he's just telling me, next time you touch anybody ever again that works here, I'm going to kick you out. I'm like, I didn't even touch you. you. You're the one that ran into me. Yeah. So at the end of the maze, like, he was following us the whole entire time. But at the end of the maze, she's like, yeah, that guy was following us. I'm like, I don't even know what I did. Yeah. I don't know. I remember, an asshole. I remember as a kid, uh, they, they set up a, a haunted house maze thing or whatever. Uh, not really a maze, it's just like a haunted walkthrough here. And it was at a, like, <laughs> behind a gas station of all places. Um... And it went with my cousin, who was a couple years older than me, and, and she, it was like she, her and her boyfriend and me. And I was dressed as a ninja, actually. And I had uh, I can see it. a little like, a toy on? sword. Do you, do you have a beak? No, no, I wasn't a ninja falcon. <laughs> um, but I had this toy sword, and uh, like, I'm going through, and things are popping out, and I'm fucking hitting them with this sword. Now I'm like eight or something, and I was a small kid growing up, so it's not like I was hurting them, but like I'm flailing this fucking sword at people. And like finally, my cousin had to take away from me. She's like, "Oh, we're gonna get kicked out." Well, that was so. nice. That, you know, you weren't fearful. You were defending them. I mean, a brave soul. Yeah, we'll say it was that, and not just me like ah! <laughs> whack and stuff. Every little kid loves to. Anyway, uh, you know, I think it's all right about that time where we talk about uh, what we uh, well, what did we learn? learn, what we learned today. So, Jason, what did you learn today? Um, I learned. That um, if you feel an overworked, all you have to do is grab two buckets of lard and throw your face <laughs> at a fire exit, <laughs> and you can take a couple of days off. Yeah. If, you, if you need some time off real bad, two buckets of lard, fire exit. <laughs> face first. Yep. Don't fuck around now. Don't just catch an elbow or something, because that's like a day. You need several days off. Right, Justin? <laughs> all right, all right. What did you learn, Dave? What did you learn? Today I learned that uh, today's fortune cookie writers are lazy as shit. Super fucking lazy. And they're just they're just pulling out like just shade ass. ass. Yeah. The sky will be blue tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> In bed. Thanks. Perfect. And your lucky numbers are four. That's it. Yeah. Tech, what you got? I learned that the big rock. Is actually Stone Mountain. What did you think it was? A big rock. Like I honestly thought it was just a big ass rock. I was like, how the fuck did this get here? Like uh, the druids put it there. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> it's, it's where all of the Stonehenge rock came from. Like they basically like mm-hmm. carved all that stuff off when they were making the big Civil War thing. Yeah. Uh, and they moved all of that rock over to England. And set up Stonehenge for the Druids. It mm-hmm. was a, it was like a big thing in the newspapers. Uh, I'm surprised you didn't see it. But you know, <laughs> whatever, dude. <laughs> Ain't nobody judging nobody around no, here. I don't know. Yeah. Justin, I, I learned that the Bushido Bunny's name was Usagi Yojimbo. Yeah, yeah. yeah somehow simple. I remembered that. Name. I, yeah, of all the when names. You said like, it, I was like, that's through, a name like, for sure. I've heard. Yeah. Like finding random pictures of a bunny with its ears wrapped up into a ponytail. Uh, and you just say Usagi Yojimbo, and I'm like, oh, that says it right here and here and here. <laughs> I think that's. I think you might be onto something. No. Was it Techno <coughs> Dome or Techno Drone? It was Drone. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Grandma, I owe you five bucks. <laughs> All right, what are yeah, our, uh, I ain't got five bucks. Oh, yeah, we got any hashtags for uh, the uh, week? Uh, well, you know, I, d- I did have a, a few. I had a uh, hashtag prop tech. Okay. Which tech was being used as a prop. Right. Uh, and then I had hashtag tech props. 
because he was flexing. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I need to get bigger. Don't point that at me. <laughs> hashtag uh, Wiener Dog Club. <laughs> uh, that's that's going to be, that's already that's made. That's going to be a thing. <laughs> that's, picked up. that's already been picked up somewhere. Hashtag Corny Box. Corny Box? Corny Box. Corny Box. Okay. Corny Box. Corny. Yes, sir. So hashtag, um, oh yeah, hashtag Teenage Mutant Ninja Falcons. Uh, but hashtag Wiener Dog Club. That's a good one. Is the one, like that one. Yeah. yeah. That's well, uh, use that on Twitter and Facebook or whatever. If you can do it with hashtags, I don't fucking know. Yeah. Um, and, uh, hashtag you know, maybe, maybe next week we'll be in a different location. Who knows? Hashtag Who knows? Maybe, maybe we'll go I mean, corn mazing. Maybe we'll go corn mazing. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely go corn mazing. Head wound Harry over here. We're going to heal up. <laughs> heal up head wound Harry, and then we'll fucking head off. Hashtag heal up head wound Harry. Hashtag heal up head wound Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of head wound Harry, I need some drugs. Uh, My right. head hurts. So. I guess that's it for tonight. It's so itchy. Bye. It's so itchy. Good night, everybody.